So let's go through all the labels on a reaction profile. You can see here we've got a question about reaction profiles and we're asked to give some of the labels on it. So on the y-axis, we have energy. That's because the whole point of a reaction profile is to show you how energy changes as a reaction progresses. So that means on our x-axis, we have the progress of reaction. Then we have two flat bits. The one on the left is the energy of the reactants. So we'll label that as reactants. Then the second flat bit on the right is the products. Then we've got the distance from the reactants to the peak of the graph. So this is labeled as B in the question. This distance here is the activation energy. Then there's also another one that they haven't asked in this question, but you do need to know about, which is the distance from the reactants directly to the products. That's the overall energy change. Okay, so what's the question asking us? The question is asking us for A, which is our x-axis, so that's going to be progress of reaction. B is this arrow here, which is essentially our activation energy. And C is our second flat line on the right, which is our products. Three points, three marks.